Hi, I'm Courtney Nash. I'm an editor with O'Reilly, and I'm here today with Dan Pallone from mm -hmm. Element 84. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dan also is an O'Reilly author, has written uh, Head First iPhone Development, mm -hmm. got some other things in the works. Yep. And we're here today to talk about continuous integration testing. Yep. Um, and it, it's worth mentioning, we've got a couple other breakdowns that, that are out there on testing. So we've got unit testing and automated UI testing, and I'm starting right. to feel like, all right, so am I going to have to juggle all this stuff? Right. So at the end of each of those videos, um, you, know, you can kind of walk away with, OK, here's another thing I'm adding to my tool chest, whatever. Yeah. Um, the goal here is uh, we're going to take continuous integration, which is kind of a, a best practice in you know, real world development. Um, but when we get to iPhone stuff, uh, I think there's a lot of people, a lot of the iPhone development shops tend to be little smaller shops. They haven't really brought that into their tool chest yet, and yeah. when we can use that, we can kind of tie everything together and, and take advantage of what continuous in continuous integration offers mm -hmm. and apply that to iPhone, iPad, just general mobile development. And is that going to help out uh, an organization that doesn't just do iPhone development? I mean, that's something sure. that's going to carry across. Yep. Um, we're going to be very iPhone, iPhone specific when we yeah. put this together, um, but the principles, what we're trying to accomplish, um, are the same. It's just how you do it, what tools you're using to actually get the integration working. All right. Well, let's get started. So, Dan, continuous integration. What is it? Why should an iPhone developer care? So continuous integration isn't new um, as kind of a best practice. And so basically the idea is um, the idea, build servers and all have kind of been around. But basically continuous integration is a tool that will basically monitor your source control repository, watch for any kind of changes. When it sees those changes, grab the code. It'll do a build. You can set up to do tests. Um, you can have it publish artifacts or kick off other builds. Mm -hmm. um, basically, its job is to constantly monitor the state of the project and monitor the state of the source repository um, to make sure everything is, is functional, everything is where you want it to be, and automate any kind of tasks on the project that you just you know, are, are designed for automation or best fit with automation. OK. And we've already seen that automation isn't such a bad thing when it right, comes to testing. Right. So like in the, um, you know, we had the unit test video, and um, we talked about how you could write all these unit tests, and they can run as part of the build, but someone still needs to run those, right? Yeah. And then when we did the um, integration testing, you ran into similar problems where it's, you have this stuff, but really, you know, you want to be able to, you don't want to have to keep dealing with it. Like, I don't want to have to think about it all the time. And so what CI lets us do, continuous integration lets us do, is just push all that stuff off on the server, and I'm going to get back to doing what I want to do, which is developing new features or marketing my app or somehow contributing to making money on the app. Yeah, so, so speaking of apps, let's talk a little bit about the one that we're going to use yeah. today. Okay, so we're going to use an app called What's Hot. And we built part of this when we did the unit testing. And um, basically, it's an application that goes out to Google Trends and pulls down the Atom feed of this hour's top trends. Mm -hmm. um, it displays those in a list, and then you can tap on it and see more detail and whatnot. When we built that, um, we'll make the code available. And when we built that, um, we put in a bunch of tests. And so we're going to use those as part of our project here. And they're included in the code you can pull down. Um, and you know, we can take a look at taking a real existing code base yeah. and wiring it up into a CI server. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> 